Hello, in this video I want to show how you can use two go-to tools, Flipgrid and Edpuzzle, to create a screencast that is then uploaded to Edpuzzle for student interactivity. Here we go. Let's go ahead and start in Flipgrid. So I'm going to just demo this in the Flipgrid Shorts camera since I'm just making an instructional video. So go ahead and record a short. I'm going to choose blackboard mode. I'm going to start with a little bit of drawing and then I'm going to do a screen recording also. Hi class. Welcome to this video. I hope you are having a good day. Gonna pause, gonna press next, and then I'm going to add more because I'm not done. And now I'm going to do a screen recording. So click these three dots right here and then screen recording. So when I have everything all ready, I'm going to press start screen recording and it's going to pull up a little picture in picture, but obviously I don't feel like being on camera right now. So I'm gonna just X that out so that all you're focused on is my screen. I'm gonna choose my screen one, press share. Now I'm gonna go over to my presentation and I can present my presentation. So go through your slides as you would. You can go into present mode, stop sharing, go over to Flipgrid, and then I can review the full clip and make sure that it all looks good. If there's anything that you needed to adjust or edit, you can always adjust the clips by double clicking on them and then you can grab the sidebar to remove from the beginning or the end of any clip, confirm, and it will do a minor edit there. Press next when you're all done. For my selfie, I want to just select a frame for this one. And now I need to get it into Edpuzzle. How I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna click on the video. I'm going to just download it to my desktop, go over to Edpuzzle, go to content, go to my content, add content, upload a video. Then you can just drag your video in here, just like that. And then it will do its magic. It will upload it. When it's done its magic and uploaded, you can click on it, go ahead and press edit, go to questions. And that is where you can add any of the interactive questions that you want. Let's make that an open-ended question actually, save and so forth. And then you can assign that just as you would assign any Edpuzzle to your class. I hope this feels like a simple way to create a mini instructional video using Flipgrid and then adding interactivity through Edpuzzle. That's all for now, bye.